News Talk 96.9, Mark Shriver here, and you're discussing the Democratic Convention, and your cousin is going to be speaking as well, uh, your cousin's son, Joseph Kennedy III, uh, Kathleen Kennedy Townsend. We had a chance to speak with her earlier. Talk a bit, though, about your life as an author. Just a terrific book. We talked about it back at Father's Day. And remembering your dad, a good man, um, Sergeant Shriver. Thank you. I appreciate the nice words about the book. It was really, I wrote it for myself after he died. So many people told me he was a good man. And I wanted to figure out how he was happily married for 56 years, raised five kids, uh, and created things like the Peace Corps or uh, President Johnson's War on Poverty, but did it also uh, with so much joy. So I, I did it to try to figure out, uh, to teach myself. As we, my wife Jean and I, raised three young kids dealing with aging in-laws and trying to balance family and friends and faith. And how dad did all that and went to mass every day and was really devout but an inclusive uh, approach to to life whether it was the republicans or democrats or uh, whether you were catholic or protestant or jewish or muslim he wanted to work with you to feed the hungry and clothe the naked um, and i'm hoping that the book which taught me so much is helping other folks as well you grew up in such a powerful political family the kennedys but the shrivers as well your descendants from maryland i believe were involved in early politics how is it that the Kennedy family, the Shriver family, you've always, always, always kept your eye on public service? I mean, and I, you know, as somebody who grew up in Massachusetts, you know, I've watched the history unfold, but what was it like sitting around, you know, the table or maybe watching TV, eating uh, corn curls and having a, just the normal stuff that, you know, normal people go through and you wonder, what did these big super families go through all the time? Well, you know, I think it was, for me, it was normal. I mean, you know, my father would write a note and slip it under my door in high school almost every day in, in college. And when I graduated and got married, he'd still send letters. And he'd talk about, you know, the Baltimore Orioles Red Sox game, about what Pedro Martinez pitched the night before or Jim Palmer had done when the Orioles... Uh, when he was with the Orioles in the 70s and the 80s. Or he'd talk about, you know, things that he had read in the newspaper or an article out of a Catholic journal or a book he was reading by Elie Wiesel. Uh, so he did a bunch of, uh, you know, different things, and he played sports with us. So it wasn't all about politics. I mean, he really wanted to make sure as an individual you knew that you were loved, as corny as that sounds, and supported by both my mom and my dad. Um, and he wanted to provide that foundation. They never said you got to go into public service, you got to run for office. Uh, but you know, we had great examples of people that made a difference in people's lives, whether it was the Peace Corps, Head Start, whether it was Special Olympics, making a difference for people with developmental disabilities. So they were great role models, and I guess we've just kind of naturally, uh, you know, kind of leaned in that direction. Was there ever a time you just wanted to be like John Smith from Cleveland and kind of disappear into the fabric of America? You know, I, wrote in, I wrote in the book that uh, that happened when I went to Holy Cross. You know, I mean, Uncle Teddy was still involved, obviously, as a U.S. senator, but he decided not to run for president in 84. And I had enrolled at Holy Cross in uh, the fall of 82, and he made that announcement shortly thereafter. And I had a great group of friends at Holy Cross. Uh, and, you know, I think people knew who I was, but no one really cared. The professors were this... Uh, uh, and I think that those my friends, which I still have a lot of really good friends that went to Holy Cross, you know, keep it real. So if anybody says to me, you know, you're part of America's royalty or any of that other stuff that you just said, I know that it's nice hype, but really what's important is taking care of your family uh, and doing something that's meaningful through your work. And I think that's what's important. So the rest of it's a little bit of fluff from the media. I don't really buy it. <laughs> Mark, thank you very much.